Do you trailer your 2018 plus Honda Goldwing? Or do you plan to in the future? If you do, you probably want to watch this video. And even if you don't, you should watch this video for some important safety information. And that's coming up right now. Hey everybody, I'm Cruise Man, and today we're going to talk about trailering your Honda Goldwing and some things that you probably need to be aware of. Now, let's get right into it, but before we do, I just want to welcome you if you've never been here before. Uh, this channel is all about motorcycles, motovlogs, how-to, tips and tricks, installation videos, product reviews, you name it. So if you like that sort of thing, please take a second to click that subscribe button down below. And if you click on the little bell icon, YouTube may notify you when we come out with new videos. I'm not sure if they do it every time, but they should. So anyway, let's talk about trailering your 2018 plus Honda Goldwing. Now, many of you may have seen a video by Max McAllister a while back where he had a customer, maybe more than one customer, sent a motorcycle to his office and they had basically tied down their gold wing using the handlebars and it had caused uh, the steering stem to break. Now Honda does not recommend that you use the handlebars as a tie down point when you put your motorcycle on a trailer. And that's a little different than most other motorcycles. The previous uh, Goldwing, you could use the handlebars, but it was a completely different setup as far as the front suspension. So, Honda no longer recommends that you use the handlebars, and it can cause damage to your steering system if you do use the handlebars to tie down the bike to a trailer. Now, you can use the rear engine guards at the rear of the bike that kind of stick out from the mufflers. You can use those. Those are safe to use. You can also strap down over the seat if you need to. You'd want to protect your saddlebags, of course. Um, but in the front of the bike, you really have to come up with another solution. Now, you could remove the engine covers and tie down to the engine guards on the front of the bike, or uh, you could go with another solution, which is an aftermarket product from Gold Strike. This is a uh, tie down bracket. Now, I want to say right up front that Gold Strike is not sponsoring this video, they did not provide this product. These uh, brackets actually came from a friend of mine, Don Smith, who some of you know has a 2018 uh, Goldwing. And we were going to install these on his motorcycle, but he has the Rivco driving lights. And they have a little bit different bracketry, a little bit different setup, and they would have to be modified uh, to use these with the Rivco lights. These are perfectly compatible with your Honda driving lights, uh, Pathfinder LED, and possibly even uh, electrical connection, I'd have to check, but the, on the uh, Ciro uh, Gold Strike website, they do tell you the compatibility of all of these uh, brackets and dr various driving lights. So I have the Pathfinder LED driving lights, so this bracket is fully compatible. Uh, but it does appear to be a very nicely made product. It's very solid steel. Uh, I believe it's powder coated. It doesn't look painted to me. It looks powder coated. And what I really like is they put the little uh, left and right, the L and the R, so you know which side you're installing. I mean, it's pretty obvious they'll only go on one way, but it's a nice touch that they did that. So today, I'm going to install these on my 2018 Honda Goldwing, and I thought I'd take you along for the ride. So let's get to the garage. The first thing we need to do is to remove the fog light covers. I'm starting on the left side. Now I will tell you this is easier to do if you have the motorcycle on the center stand. I'm going to use a 5mm Allen wrench to remove these two 5mm socket bolts. The fog light covers simply pull off to the outside edge. However, I do have some Pathfinder cowl lights installed and I need to unplug those first before we can proceed. Since I'm working on the left side of the motorcycle, we're going to install the left bracket. And each bracket is stamped so you know which side to install where. 
Here are the two 12 mm bolts that must be removed so that we can install the bracket. The top bolt holds the engine guard in place while the bottom bolt is for the horn bracket. I may also need to remove this 10 mm bolt that holds my fog light in place so that I can move it out of the way. First I'm going to use a 12 mm wrench to remove the 12 mm bolt at the top and here you can see the replacement bolt that's included in the Gold Strike kit. It is a little bit longer. Next I'm going to remove the 12 mm bolt for the horn bracket shown here. We have the horn mounting bolt that goes down here. This is what holds the horn in place. We just removed it. Now I was able to get it out without taking off the light. Once I got the camera out of the way, I could just kind of pull this enough to get enough play, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna to have to remove this to actually install the bolt. But this bracket will fit uh, like this right here. And then we'll reinstall I'm going to go ahead and put this top bolt in. This is the bolt that comes with the uh, tie down bracket kit. And I'm just going to go ahead and start it. And just, I'm not going to fully tighten it. I'm just going to get it in place so it holds the bracket in place. And then I'll uh, tackle the lower bolt like that. So it's in there because I've got to make sure my horn bracket is also uh, in there. So I did end up having to take this uh, bolt out of the driving light and kind of just let it hang down so that I could get to this next mounting point. A little bit of a hassle if you have fog lights installed, but still doable and you just have to line up the horn bracket with the um, towing bracket. See if we can't get this started in here and get it threaded in. So now we have our top bolt that came with the kit and we have our horn mounting bolt down here. Nice to have one of these little flexible head wrenches to do this. And we'll get it tightened up. Now you can torque this to uh, Honda's torque specs, but I've always found if you just get it good and tight, you know, it should be fine. I don't know that you really need to use a torque wrench on this. My lamp assembly here, I have to get this little thing hooked back up underneath like that. This mounts on top like that. I didn't have to remove the side mounting bolt for the fog light. I just loosened it enough so that it would flop down. And of course this takes a 10 millimeter wrench or socket. So if you don't have fog lights, this is a very easy installation. You just loosen that or remove that horn mounting bolt and you're in business. But if you do have fog lights installed, you will probably have to loosen, uh, remove this bolt, drop that fog light down so that you can get it installed. bolt I'm going to tighten is going to be this engine guard mounting bolt which is the top bolt for our um, bracket here our tie down bracket and I will put the torque specs on the screen so if you do choose to torque these to Honda's torque specs uh, you will have those numbers I'm not going to use a torque wrench I'm just going to make sure it's really tight you are screwing 
steel into steel, so it's not like you're screwing into plastic. And now our bracket is in. It'll be the exact same uh, process on the right side, just reversed, obviously. And so now that you know how to install the left bracket, the right bracket will install the same way. All we need to do now is put our fog light cover back on.